This is the Padcaster teleprompter. And if I'm being honest, it's the worst teleprompter I've ever used. Now, teleprompters are a really good way for you to tighten up your YouTube videos and to get YouTube videos out there with taking fewer and fewer edits. So when I saw this on sale for $100, I thought to myself, why not give one a shot? It's probably cheap, but it's probably good enough to get the job done. So the idea with this product is that it was designed to sit on the hood of your camera lens while reflecting an image from your phone back onto your face so that it looks like you're looking at the lens while you're reading a script from your camera. It comes with an app for iOS or Android, and it also comes with this Bluetooth remote. Once you have the Padcaster mounted onto your lens hood, all you need to do is put in your phone, load up a script, hit play, and start recording. I wish it was actually that simple. So as you can imagine, this entire device is made of plastic, except for the glass piece that's designed to reflect the image from your phone back onto your screen. All that is good so far until you actually try to open the phone out and put your phone in. As you can see, it's almost impossible to open up. I don't know if it's because the entire housing is plastic or if the springs on the inside of the Padcaster are just really bad, but for whatever reason, this is the worst phone mount that I've ever used on any device. And if you're using a leather case or any other case that you wanna keep in good condition, just forget about it. I made the mistake of putting my phone in this device with my Ander full grain leather case, and let's just say I left a couple of beauty marks. Never doing that ever again. And then we have to talk about the app. At the best times, it's mediocre, but honestly, there are a number of things in this app that are just infuriating. First of all, importing scripts into this app sucks. There needs to be some sort of desktop cloud sync in order to make this work because hitting copy paste from your phone is a miserable experience and nobody wants to do it. There is an option to use Dropbox to import scripts, but honestly, there should just be some sort of universal setting within the app where you can work on your desktop, import your script in, and then just pull it from your phone. Now, as you might expect, there's also the option to mirror the app so that the script is facing the right way when you're reflecting it back on your screen. The problem is, is that the Parrot Padcaster app mirrors your entire phone. I guess the idea is that you probably try to control your phone looking into the glass screen, but who wants to do that? That's a horrible user experience. And then the app controls themselves are actually a nightmare. When you try to control the scroll speed, this thing goes from doesn't move at all to impossibly fast for anybody to read. Now, ideally the best way to use this is with the Bluetooth remote, but unfortunately I couldn't test that. I don't know if it's because my remote is defective or if it's just a piece of junk, but I couldn't get mine to pair. I think what the problem is, is that this battery mount is a cheap plastic piece of garbage. You have to finesse the battery just perfectly just to get the remote to power on. But I think the biggest problem is that the Padcaster does not work well with wide angle lenses. Now, anybody who knows anything about the YouTube game knows that this is a really big deal. Most YouTube channels shoot with a wide angle lens to bring the viewers into the experience. But try doing that with the Padcaster and you get this really ugly vignette. In my experience, anything wider than 28 millimeters while shooting with this is completely unusable because the vignette is just too extreme. Now you can always go in and crop after the fact, but to me that completely misses the point. Why sacrifice video quality just to use a teleprompter? For me, this almost makes the Padcaster completely unusable. You can go in and shoot a tighter shot, but at that point, why bother? Now here's the thing. If you absolutely 100% hate video editing, then the Padcaster might be a good option because it will cut down on the amount of time that you spend editing your video. But if you care about wide angle shots, really good video quality, or just getting a really good image out of your camera, I would pass on the Padcaster. Anyway, this was just a rant. I really needed to get this off my chest because I really do feel like I almost wasted $100 on this product. So pretty soon we'll get right back to key and wallet reviews. I got a really good competitor to the Bellroy key cover coming up that I'm really excited to share with you. But until then, I'll see you guys in the next video.